Hi, it's Dr. Teresa Cullen bringing you your Pima County Health update for the beginning of the week. Today's date is July 20th. Today I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about the tests. I think it can be a little confusing. There's a lot of different names out there, a lot of different terms. So I'm just going to take you through five different terms to help you understand what's going on. The first two are some FDA, the Food and Drug Administration terms. The first one is called an EUA. That's an emergency use authorization. That's for the vast majority of tests that are being used to diagnose COVID-19. And the reason for that is we didn't know about COVID-19 six months ago. So all these tests got developed and they're considered emergency use. Once we're through the emergency, they will just get normal authorization. The other thing is called a LDT, local diagnostic tests. These are tests that labs on a local level can develop. They seek approval from the FDA and the FDA gives them to that as opposed to an emergency use authorization, a local diagnostic test. So a local lab could use them. The three most common lab tests that are being used are PCR, antigen, and antibody. PCR is the test that you are probably most familiar with. It's the one when you see somebody doing a swab in someone's nose, that's almost always a PCR. Polymerase chain reaction, looking for active virus. This is the kind of test that's being done at the Kino Event Center sponsored by the county. There's also an antigen test. An antigen test is also a test for an acute infection. However, it's not as sensitive as the PCR test. So if you get an antigen test and it is positive, it probably means you have the disease, COVID-19. If it's negative and you're still symptomatic, you may want to follow up with a PCR test, which is more sensitive. And finally, the last test that you've all heard about is the antibody test. The antibody test is not to be used for acute infection. The antibody test informs you, if it is positive, that you've had COVID-19 in the past. This is Dr. Cullen bringing you the Pima County Health Update for July 20th.